In this video, we will take a closer look at some of the cool new AI features that Filmora has to offer. It's super cool that these features exist because in the end, they save us lots of time and they open up tons of possibilities. And the best thing is that they are super easy to use. So let's hop into them. Before we start with this tutorial, click the link below this video to download Filmora. Pick whether you have a Windows or a Mac computer and then just click on the free download button. A free Filmora installer is downloaded automatically just unpack it, then it will do its thing and you are ready to get started. But now let's go back to the tutorial. All right, so I have already imported a couple of clips into the timeline and we will just use these clips to show off some of the cool features. And basically the way and how you can access these AI tools is super simple. Just, you know, select the clip that you want to work with. And then here under the video section, just go over to AI tools and then you can see all the different AI tools that Filmora has to offer. I won't go through all of them, chroma key for for example is a green screen tool that works super simple just select the color that your green screen has and it will do everything automatically but I do not have a green screen clip right now so what we will start off with is the AI portrait and this is very cool I'm sure you've seen these clips on social media where a person is talking like this and then the background is just a screen recording or something like this and within Filmora this works super simple just basically just select the clip then just tap on AI portrait everything else is done automatically and you know you can see with my hair it's not perfectly fine but my my hair is pretty crazy and you can also you know tweak the settings you can just cut off a bit you can also you know make the edges a bit smoother and so on so this is basically how you can do this and if you want to put you know a different you know uh, just a different background behind the clip then just put it behind this and as you can see you have it then you know in, in your clip you can just, you know, change the, the, the scale. You can also change the position so you can put it like here. Like, you know, if I was talking about this resort, you can just put it in like this and yeah, works super simple, super easy and yeah, works really, really nice. The next AI feature that I want to show you is called Smart Cutout. And the idea basically is to have, you know, basically this is just a walking scene where my girlfriend is walking and the goal is to cut out only her and to leave everything you know basically to cut out everything else and then we can also put her into you know a different scene and so on this is very very difficult to do if you wanted to do this you know manually then you would have to draw a mask and do this frame by frame and it's an absolute nightmare and within filmora what you can do is just select smart cutout and then clip on this icon right here and then basically what you can do is you can just draw you know a mask around your object and you have you know, you can dial in your brush size, the edge thickness and edge feather and so on. But basically what I like to do is I like to toggle the transparency grid. And basically what you need to do is just, you know, draw a mask around her. I'm just doing this very rough and, and dirty for this video just to show you how this works. And of course, the more time you take and the more precise you do this, the better the final result will be. And I also like to edge feather this a little bit. And like I said, you know, you can also zoom in. Basically, you can make this entire thing bigger so you can see it better. You can also zoom in here to see it better. You can erase it to make it look better. So basically, you have all the options in the world. We'll go back to fit and then we'll just clap, click on save. And now it has done it automatically. But for the sake of this video, I'm just doing this very rough. And next thing that we need to do is hop over to advanced mode and then click on this play icon. And then it will basically, you know, track all the frames that are following. And as you can see, it's starting right here. I have not started at the beginning, but you can see it has cut out her. And yeah, this is basically how it works. Like I said before, the more time you put into this, the better the final result will be. And basically all the other AI features such as stabilization, lens correction, all of that, they all work pretty much the same. Just click on that. And then for example, it will just stabilize your clip. So it's all very, very intuitive and very easy to use. All right, and to end this video, I want to show you two more cool features. The first one is here under My Media. Next to Import, you have AI Image. Let's just tap on that, and it just takes a second to load up. And then you have a couple of different options. You can change the aspect ratio, and you also have a bunch of different image styles. I'll just leave it at Freestyle. Let's go over to Start Creating.
So here basically you have a couple of different options. You have 16 by 9, 9 by 16. So you can basically change the aspect ratio and you can also change the image style. And here basically you can describe what AI should create for you. So let's, for example, let's write create a tennis player, I don't know, playing um, in the jungle with the ocean visible. I don't know, something like this. Let's see what it creates. And you can see it takes a couple of seconds. It's creating that in the background. And then after just a couple of seconds, you can see we now have a tennis player playing in the jungle. Um, I don't see any ocean here, but that's basically how it works. Let's try another thing. So the next thing I wanna try is create a person standing in front of the Eiffel Tower, filming it with a smartphone. Let's see what it does. All right, so there you have it. They have a person standing in front of the Eiffel Tower filming it with a smartphone. Well, she's not really filming it. And there are even two Eiffel Towers. But I think, you know, this is just the beginning of AI creating images. And it's pretty cool what it can create. So that's the first feature. And the last feature that I want to show you is actually before you create a new project or open a recent project. And this is the AI copywriting feature right here. So just tap on that. And then you can basically you have a bunch of different options. It asks you what are you going to write so you have youtube video ideas video oral scripts um, video whatever so basically um, let's go for video descriptions maybe why not um, and then let's say we made a video sharing All right, so I basically told it that we made a video sharing the top five secrets to making cinematic looking videos with a smartphone. It is English. And then we also have a bunch of different advanced options, but let's just click on generate. And it's also here generating in the background. And then after just a couple of seconds, you can see we have five different options. You can copy that, you can change that, of course. So yeah, it's somewhat like ChatGPT, but just directly integrated within Filmora. So that's pretty cool also. But there you have it, just a quick overview over some of the AI features. Like I said before, it's super simple to use, super convenient. And the final results, if you take your time to tweak the settings, they will be very, very fantastic. If you have any more questions, let us know and I'll see you in the next one.